Okay, well. Why don't we get back to the Delamain then? You want trouble? Yeah. Yup. I remember Dex said that the Delamain is AI driven. So we're not even gonna be seeing a driver here, are we? So, you ready? I am as ready as I'll ever be. Hmm. Oh, there's a little there's a little one icon here. What's going on? Delamain. No, it's right in front of me. I don't need to call this. There's still a one icon. Uh, I have a mail. I haven't read it. Your Delamain vehicle is waiting. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. <laughs> um, let's try calling some other people here. We haven't really... Yeah, I don't think my life coach is willing to work with me anymore. Because I probably don't have money anyway. But Evelyn Parker. That's a scary picture. You need something? Oh, it actually connected. What do you know about Dex Deshawn? Best fixer in town. Found exactly who I needed faster than the rest. And asked the fewest questions. Too bad his mercs don't follow his lead. Yeah, she doesn't like questions being asked. You know Judy a while? Why does that matter to you? Doesn't. Just curious. I trust her. She won't betray us. I think that's all you need to know. Does she still have a role in this? She showed me the brain dance. Was that it? Why'd you set up the meeting at Lizzie's? Good a place as any. You linked to the mock somehow? Yes. We share a fondness for discretion. It's basically telling you to shut up and stop asking questions. Talk later. Don't let me down, V. Something like that. Yeah, Jackie's right in front of me. What'll happen if I do that? Then don't pick up the phone. Don't pick up the phone. I'm right in front of you. Would be cool if he did, though. Yeah, everybody else we can probably get around to later on. I can call my motel room. Wouldn't it be scary if somebody picked up? And what motel room are you talking about? I live in an apartment, not a motel. Anyway, let's let's get in here. There's only one door you gotta open in Night City, and that's the door to the afterlife. Once you cross into that world, peeps will step aside for you everywhere. Dex couldn't have chosen a better place to pre-game before the heist, am I right? After life's assigned for us, Chica. You got it, Jackie. No tell motel. Delamain combat mode enabled. Welcome on board this Delamain service. With Delamain, you leave your problems at the door. Son oh, what did bitch. you change? Better fucking believe I will. Looking snazzy. I see no reason why you should be using expletives. Oh, yeah? What about that time I wanted to hire you for my cousin's bachelor party, huh? Unfortunately, we do not take on such contracts. Three months I'd been saving up scratch. Eh, water under the bridge. Hit it, Del. Before we begin our journey, I must verify the identities of all customers. Please proceed to connect your personal links. I thought this was gonna be a fancy limo, but it's kinda... It's kind of basic, I guess. Honeycomb bulletproofing? Ain't going anywhere unless we do this, V. Oh, yes, sorry. Just looking around. It's kind of weirding me out that there's no driver. Thank you. Excelsior package activated. Excelsior? Oh, this just keeps getting better. Is that like a Stanley reference? Excelsior? The Excelsior is a package tailored to our premium clientele. Top quality don't come free, you know. Now watch. Delamain, initiate combat mode. My apologies, but you do not appear to be in any sort of imminent danger. Huh. Oh well. Trust me, you'll mow down an army of Saka ninjas if it comes down to it. 
Damn. This combat mode even legal? Of course it is. The Second Amendment says so. While on board, you are entirely within your rights to bear and use me. Bear arms? Celsius, what else is included? Comprehensive health coverage, including mm. the handling and disposal of a client's remains should death occur on board. Damn. She got dark pretty quick. Wonderful. Dex ain't skimping, is he? And thanks to you, we're still getting a juicy 40%. You're welcome. Excelsior. This is how you want to cruise into the major leagues. I don't know, man. I I personally don't really care about that, but V might. Yeah, because we all work in the underworld. That really your be-all and end-all? Huh? Dex managed to buy you off that cheap? With a suit? A limo? I don't know, Jack. Kind of feels like you're losing that steel grip of yours. Huh. Seems to me like it's you who's got some kind of problem. We are problem. nearing our destination. Yep. Don't gotta tell me. Need you to keep your head clear and in the game. We got a job to do. It's never, ever been clear in my whole fucking life. Let me explain something to you, V. My whole life I've spent in this shit around us. And I ain't going back. Sorry, I wasn't questioning it. Hey, how's things? Smooth as fucking sandpaper. We'll be, uh, pulling up to the hotel soon. Listen, set up a direct encrypted line to guide you through Compeki. V, ring Jackie now, see if we're in sync. Can't be too careful. And? Mm, got static. Say something, Bug. The greatest crimes issue from a desire for excess and not from necessity. Say what now? Mm. Aristotle. Guess you read me then. Yeah, I read you. Not so much your Greek friend. Though it was kind of exciting. Could give it some thought. Try to understand. How about you, V? Ambition. Blaze of glory. All that again. I want more Aristotle. Fuck off, both. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tech checks out, looks like. Será mejor que sí. Stay in touch. Thank you for choosing the Delamain service, and best of luck. I shall await here for your return. It's finally happening. Almost forgot, no iron, huh? Oh, that's a little bit. Hmm, all right. All right, Hannah. Let's go. I forgot your name. Hannah Cornwell. Hold on. Let me grab the flathead. Now, Jackie's desire to move up in the world might be because he grew up really poor. Everybody here did. And you don't want to be in that position again. When you grow up, you don't... You know, it's all about money and all that. You just don't want to be in that position where being poor has limited your opportunities, made your life worse and all that. Compeki Plaza. Compeki being Azure. We're out front, Bug. Member, reservations in your name, Ramon. Yesterday, You're there to meet Hajime Taki, military tech department rep. Papers are for the flathead. Welcome don't worry. to Compeki Plaza. Got this. Her birthday. She wanted that. That car was for a What? Are you suggesting it's my idea? Welcome to Compeki <laughs> Plaza. Please come yourself? through single file. You got it, home. Uh, <clears throat> sir? <clears throat> Hold on. Got something. Care to explain why you're bringing military equipment onto the premises into Compeki Plaza? We're arms dealers. Excuse me? Ah. Uh. You are here to see Taki-san, am I right? Please, accept my apologies for the confusion. <laughs> Why is that guy wearing a mask? This should only take a moment, ma'am. Go ahead. Well, that's not a mask. That's just what he looks like? Oh. Some kind of standard uniform? Yo, 
Greetings and welcome to Konpeki Plaza. Welcome? Oh, because it's like a Japanese hotel or something. We'd like to check in. Of course. Just a moment, please. The name on the reservation is? Victorino. Double room, two adults, one night, correct? That's the one. Perfect. I'll go ahead and notify Takisan of your arrival. Shit, no good. Not part of the plan. Talk her up, V. Stall. Have I asked you to do that? Uh, no. I just thought that since... Who asked you to think? Oh my god. Excuse me? I know damn well it wasn't me. Who was it? A word of advice, if I may. Do only what you're told to do. Now, what was that room number? You'll be in the Lapis Lazuli suite on level 42. Oh, one more little formality. Please validate your SID chip. Honor's all yours, Hanna. Damn, I didn't know V was gonna go so hard. Sorry, lady. I'll tip extra. Everything seems to be in order. We wish you a pleasant stay. Thank you. Better get going. Thank you. Sorry about my own behavior. Come Pecky Plaza. Didn't come on to strike. Maybe a little bit, huh? Luxury beauty discretion. What holds more power than a place? An idea. Kampeki Plaza is more than a hotel. It is a space in which reality is curated to even the most refined tastes and sensibilities. At Kampeki Plaza, you'll find 420 exclusive apartments, 20 conference rooms, 14 fully equipped pools, and the finest bars, restaurants, and that which cannot be measured by numbers alone. Luxury, beauty, and discretion. Our world-class customer care will fulfill even the deepest needs and desires of our guests. Turning your stay in Kampeki Plaza into an unforgettable experience. When it comes to the comfort of our clients, there is no such thing as the impossible. Discover new dimensions of comfort. Enjoy the best night city has to offer. The better the customer service in a place, the worse they treat their employees. Trust me, places like this, you're either strong or you're nobody. Uh, I, I mean, you're the corporal here. I guess so, V. Still got some of those asshole corpo habits remaining. What do you think, Hannah? Hmm? Quaint, cozy. Not like the hotel we had in Zurich for that convention. Don't need that, Jess. <laughs> Enough. Be what? I'm taking this seriously. How were you able to seduce the world's most expensive model? I did not seduce her. I kidnapped her. <laughs> Whoa. Right after the Bueno Six show. Well, on to the romantic. And Zakaria? How did she react? I can tell you didn't seduce her. I am certain I can convince her of a supper. And should she not, I will send her home by plane tonight. There seems to be some kind of a anonymity mod around here. I can't scan anybody and get their names. Well, you know, discretion and all that. I don't think I need to hack the cameras yet, right? Especially if I fail, then that might be a problem. Those girls. Bar don't look too shabby. Heck up pretty rough. Welcome to Kompeki Plaza. We don't do reservations weekdays, so feel free to grab any available table. Or a couple of stools at the bar if you prefer. Could bring Misty here one day. When we, uh, close this deal. Sure. Wouldn't hurt to take a peek inside. Shit. Looks like some fucking traveling salesman with this case. You are a traveling salesperson. That's what we're here for. Embargo. How does the fucking concern me? The garage I mentioned. They have 20 light models iconic. 10 containers of armor piercing ammunition. And a full ton of anti-personal mines. Fix the situation or the transports will go to the Soviet. The Zero Syndicate. I don't I know just you. Drop them so straight let's out of keep orbit. it that way. But first, I'll make certain they all drive over your lazy ass. 
Do you know why? Because Hajime Taki always fulfills his contracts. Always! And if I promise the curse, they will have the Daikani to help them in the negotiations with a petrochem. Then the smoke from those fucking bio farms will sting out in a nice city. People are freely talking about their crazy business arms dealings. Hajime Taki, yet again. Get an honest Better. job! That's the idea, Minister. Oh, just wanna mingle. I am. I am so sorry. Did something just fall down because of me? You certainly put him in his place. No, 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 no. You listen. I can let the Cuba thing slide, but not Nairobi. Farida, I didn't have anything to do with. You did. You're turning the city into a goddamn norovirus test tube. That's hurting my investments. And when my bottom lines hit, oh my God. I hit the market. Maybe toss a few bombs here and there. Shake it up. Is that what you want? Um, I. Uh, no, uh, I could, could relocate the factories. How much time do I have? As long as it takes me to finish my drink. And I drink fast, so you better grab that phone. Did you say neurovirus? Are you doing something biohazardous around here? Jeez, man, everybody. Wait. Wait.恐怖はホラーだし。恋愛はラブロマスじゃん。ジャンル映画の方法を使ってるだけでしょ。そういう感覚ってあるでしょ。僕はリアルを感じてもらいたいんだよ。もちろん現実には体験できないものがたりを通してね。This looks a lot like Hideo Kojima. Hideyoshi Oshima. Hey. あ、すみません。今時間ないんで。Cameo, I guess. They just want you to talk to him to be like, you know, hey, notice him. I actually think there's a really thin line between horror and comedy. Yeah, the mixing of emotions sounds interesting, and of course Hideo Kojima would be the right person to explore complex human emotions. Oh, you know, Death Stranding was... was a piece of work. And when I say heads are gonna roll, I don't mean it as a fucking turn of phrase. Had enough, guy? Don't you think? Making the other customers uncomfortable. Good! Cause this affects them too. It'll slap everyone in the face. What's gonna slap everyone? You want to know what a bearer of bad news looks like? What's 400 yards long, weighs 100,000 tons, and is nuclear powered? The answer's docked in the bay. Hanako Arasaka decided <gasps> decided to take a little vacation. Saburo Arasaka's daughter. Yeah, it says right here. Is that related to the thing on the loading screen? There's a radio segment in the loading screen wait. talking about how, oh, there is something called the Kujira. I'm sure anybody playing knows what I'm talking about, but I don't remember. It was something about being docked on the bay. Keep it down. Emperor's daughter you're talking about. Sponging up booze in a bar and mouthing off for everyone to hear. I think that's a good idea. Keep it up. I'm sure it'll work out great for you. Shit. <laughs> you could be right. Walk away. Do it while you still can. Know what? I'm gonna go and do just that. You look like a Boy Scout. Evening. Evening. What can I get you, baby? Baby? Baby. How about your name first? I wanna make sure your supervisor hears about this. Whatever made you think I work here? Mm, you're standing in front of me. Mm, you got any idea who owns Kempeki Plaza? No. Strangest thing, nobody knows. It's like they're a ghost. But whoever it is, they like to keep things bright, shining, and sparkling here. Maybe, just maybe, they're so concerned about the quality of service, they sometimes moonlight as the bartender. Uh-huh. Why would they do that? Don't know to keep a proprietor's eye on things. Maybe rake in some tips. 
That still doesn't give you the right to call me baby, especially if you're concerned with customer service. Oh, cool story, Chum. Too bad it's made up. Everyone's making something up, just like you, baby. Uh... Can I get you something? At the least. Water? Let's see what you got. Of course. Kind of don't trust you after all that, but how much is the water here? You don't even have water here. Coffee. You don't have water here. You actually don't. No, we shouldn't be drinking before a job. However, if you would like to take my junk, my $12 worth of junk. What a weird guy. Oh, look. Another fan. Is that it? Yes, I'm a fan. The fuck you want from me? A Bosch, a Manet, two Basquiat miniatures, nothing but classics. All sucked out into the empty void of space through a hole in the station's body. Bloody hell. What will become of the gallery? Oh, but it was all planned. The focus of the whole opening. Oh, wait, wait. Allow me to venture a guess. A new Abramovsky? Mm-hmm. Untitled number three. It's a reckoning with... Oh, I can't remember. God, I think. Sounds ambitious. How much did it cost? The gratitude of an artist of his stature is worth more. Some art talk. Look, uh, I, I got a meeting. Every single person who can get in here has to be some kind of affluent. Everyone who's anyone in Night City will be there. On my yacht. Even your ex confirmed. She's gonna be there. Anna? Why is she in Night City? She's promoting her new movie. Already raked two billion at the box office, apparently. You know, I suggested that to her. Gave her the idea? The whole spherical ziggurat thing? All the more reason you should come then. As a co-initiator of her rise, her success. Just leave your iron at home. <laughs> Fuck you. Actresses, movie stars, artists. A private jet from Seattle. Chic. Very. And appreciated even more. It must have cost a pretty any. You are worth the price. How do you feel? Marvelous. Did... Did you put something in my drink? You're welcome. Oh my god. So that's why I feel so... So, um... <laughs> that is just the beginning. In a short while, all sensations will be ten times stronger. Especially pain. Uh, pain? You said... I'd like to try something different today. Is that okay with you? Um, yeah... Yeah, absolutely. Good. In that case, be at the room in 15 minutes. Cover the mirrors and camera. The hotel is discreet, but you know, nobody ever said the clients had to be discreet. <laughs> okay, so as far as I can tell, these seem to be free. Whoever can get in here, maybe it's like a free little freebie, you know, as opposed to a paid freebie. Because they assume that people who can get here are all rich. How can I help? Why is everyone got it out for me? T Bug apparently is still connected to me right now. She's still in the top corner. Damn, I kind of feel bad for you guys. Some kind of like a required uniform, huh? We have the same eyes. You know, when no one's near her, she's like. All droopy and stuff. Yeah, like she's not allowed to look up at people because she's so lowly or something. It's kind of freaky. Okay, we can go to the elevator, but I think it's always a good idea just to, you know, get a feel for the place. What are you looking at? Literally nothing. Very insightful. If the customer wants white truffles, then white truffles he'll get. Not black, not blue, white. Yeah, the cleaning staff, the non-front-facing staff, they don't have to wear that gold thing. This is, uh... This has to be spotless. 
Well, that doesn't quite look like regular uniforms or clothing either, but... A lot of distracting thingies around here. If the customer wants white truffles, then number one, nothing surprises you. Don't let it. Some rich bitch that's all their dogs jump in the pool. You don't ask no questions. You don't stare. You don't fucking bother me. Guess makes his room look like a storm went through it. I don't ask no questions. I don't stare. I don't fucking bother you. Hey, you're a quick study. I like that. I guess kids want to throw a TV out the window. Same thing. You watch it happen. What if they want to throw another person out the window? Good question. Then you can fucking bother me. But do it fucking discreetly. It's like Amazon or Disney. Disneyland. The better they treat the customers, the worse they treat their employees. Access shard authorization required. We are not going to a conference room, I guess. Ah, oh, that cigar. Right, uh... Chill out a little bit, guys. I don't know, although I know it's hard to chill out here. Any misstep. And that's their job gone. Keybug's probably like, holy crap, when are you gonna go up there? This is some abstract art. There's an automatically apartment. Not a suite, but an apartment. Do people live here semi permanently? It's gotta look better than my place, alright? No ads in the elevator! Holy crap, this is. This is definitely luxurious. Hey Jackie, sorry for the wait. About time. Yeah. Hey, is there something I can do for you? Cause no, I'm no. Kind of busy. Sorry. Зая, ты же помнишь, как мы тестировали эту технику на наших? Про заражение под Новоиркутском они врали. Про аварию на Баконинской три врали. Они всегда врут. Reminds me of my corporal days. We're in the Arasaka waterfront right now, right? We're in our room. Pretty snazzy. Too bad we ain't staying the night. Nice choice, Bug. Didn't pick it for snaz. Offers quickest access to the dweller and servers. Si, si, me acuerdo. Now you fire up the flathead and find the shaft entrance. Sounds simple enough? Simplicity is sometimes toughest to master. Aurelius? Aristotle? Who's it this time? Yours truly. That one's mine. Where's the shaft? Boot up your scanner. Look around. Arasaka Waterfront. So this building is owned by Arasaka too. Scan for an entry point in the flathead. Oh, I turned on the sprinkler. Flathead prep to go. Almost there, Chica. It's kind of cute. Kampeki Plaza. Took it already, but I still want to take this one, so freaking give it to me. No, I want to take it. I want to take it. Fine. This one we took, but I don't think we've read before. Tame Dragon, a biography of Yorinobu Arasaka. In many ways, the story of Yorinobu Arasaka resembles an ancient parable. The younger son of one of the modern world's most powerful CEOs renounces his heritage, forfeits his birthright, and instead chooses a rough and tumble life on the streets of Tokyo, only to later scamper back home to the warm, sheltered bosom of his family with his tail tucked. At least, that is the story most have pieced together from official sources. But why did Yorinobu betray his father in the first place? Why did he return? For several years, I dug deeper, followed leads, reached out to his former friends and acquaintances. Slowly, I began to unearth answers to some of the public's most burning questions. Yorinobu was born in Tokyo in the early 21st century, the first child to Saburo Arasaka's third wife, Michiko. By all accounts, he seemed a happy child that grew to become a pleasant young man, that is, until his graduation from the University of Tokyo at the age of 21. 
Following the ceremony, the Arasaka family threw a party in his honor. At some point in the evening, Saburo invited his son to his study for a private conversation. What transpired there is wholly unknown, but after corroborating varied accounts, it is clear Yorinobu must have slipped out of from the party and the estate only a few hours later. Gone. A whisper in the night. Over the next few years, Yorinobu was occasionally spotted in the company of a nomad group known as Kotetsu no Ryu, or the Steel Dragons. As part of this youthful rebellion, he purposefully involved himself in altercations with Arasaka agents and promoted anti-corporate slogans. After his family eventually confirmed Yorinobu's involvement, Saburo renounced his son and Kei, Saburo's eldest son, swore to exact revenge on his younger brother. Exact revenge? Ironically, it was later at Kei's funeral that Yorinobu at last reconciled with his father. Stubbornly and proud to a fault, many were surprised by the Arasaka Patriarch's conciliatory approach. What caused Saburo to change his mind? What role might have Yorinobu's sister, Hanako, played in their peaceable reunion? That much yet remains to be discovered. Both of them are in town then. Yorinobu and Hanako. That's not normal, right? Because normally they would be the in... Shaft. Tokyo? Japan, at least. No, I gotta play around with my room first, okay? Well, I want you to turn on a TV and you give me like half a screen? Come on, what is this design? Just AIDS. Oh, just ads. <laughs> just AIDS. <gasps> Another mirror. Still nothing? Come on, can't be that hard. Just wanna have a look at how snazzy I look right now with a suit and all. Reminds me of my Arasaka days. I miss my old suit though, my corporate suit. Seriously. Can I get it back somewhere? Okay, entry point. Entry point. You get the flathead ready, okay? I. We're just supposed to look for the shaft. Okay, 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 okay. Hollow view. No decoration. TV. Can I turn off the sprinkler first? It's kind of distracting. Got a winner. Good. Jackie, how's the flathead looking? All set. You want me to open the little thing for you? Systems are operational. Charge it a hundred. It's invisible. Here's the little gonk stock. Already? Just gonna stand there and look at it? Gonna have to switch to manual control. B, take the control shard from Jackie. Gonna link your Kiroshis to surveillance so you can guide the bot. Okay. Why me? Why do I gotta slot it in? Unlike someone, I haven't run on my tab with Vic. Got last-gen firmware. No flow. Just do it, Chica. Ain't got all day. I paid back Vic already. What are you talking about? Surveillance cover the whole hotel? Mm-hmm. Even the bedrooms in the suites. Guests don't care? You'd be surprised what people are willing to give up to feel secure. Lucky for us, you're a Nobu is an exception. Penthouse is dark. No hotel security. That seems really suspicious. <laughs> Here. Here goes. Patching you through to in-cam view. Might get a little disoriented, but don't freak. Okay, got a clear view. You can't just go locking people out of their homes. Get them to the next vent. Places of work. Arasaka will cover the cost of any and all What do you mean, though? Assessed. How do I make it move? This isn't about the money. It's election season. How do you think this will make me look? People start saying I've lost control of Watson. District I'm from. A week. That's all we can promise you. We will try. And that is all I can promise you. There's a mayor here. Deputy mayor. I didn't catch much of the conversation, but it probably was some corporate dealings between okay, flatheads in. the government and Arasaka. What makes you think it was for you? 
He addressed it to the kind housekeeper who finds him. Note inside said, sorry for the mess. There was blood everywhere. But at least he left it to him. Am I the only one that just gets puke and used condoms? Where's the damn justice in it? Do you want blood in yours? A bug? Got a hitch. Think he's single? Oh, what now? <laughs> Housekeeping's you in know. my way. Good luck. Okay. Got a distractor. Uh, uh, let's see what's on the subnet. He's staying All right. at the penthouse. Minyara Nobu Arasaka. Men like him are always single. Might wear expensive suits, but he's a biker at heart. Always itching for a ride. <laughs> I'd give him a ride. And wipe him out. Honey, stick to wiping that glass, huh? They're leaving streaks everywhere. Terrarium's got a control panel. Somehow, I doubt it. What would you say to a TV? I'd say, keep looking. What the hell is that? Oh, some kind of a hologram dog? Hollow projector, maybe? Nope. Terrarium's got a temp and air quality controller. Cream, yeah. Sick the flathead on it. So yeah, when no one's looking, these housekeepers are like normal people. They just can't be when customers are in view. Hey, Bug, it worked. <laughs> Ain't seen nothing yet. You got any idea how much those things cost? Keep moving. No time for backpatting. Do they get minimum wage here, I wonder? They do work at a premium hotel, so you would expect a non- or um, a premium wage. But somehow, I kind of doubt it. Some kind of a maintenance room. Okay. Dwellers just beyond the door. Flathead can jimmy the lock. Security? Arasaka. Looks like he's having trouble. Shit. Gotta be another way. Let me think. Got another cam other side of the door, but it's disabled. Want me to enable? Yeah, look around for a CCTV port. CCTV port. Got the port. Okay, have the flathead jack in. Okay, he's at it. Now toggle over to the other cam. Dwellers inside. Just as planned. Still weird, the hotel's only got one runner. Decent dwellers as good as a dozen rank and file. Oh, he's like protecting the net of the security, I guess. Hey, why not? Flathead ought to be able to neutralize him. Good thinking. Let me graft a demonoid onto your link. And you know you gotta jack the flathead directly into his chair, right? Make it sound like I'm new with this. Okay, sent. He's all yours. You'll have to get the flathead in there first, though. Won't he know, though, if he's been neutralized? Or is that the whole point of neutralizing him? Shaft may link both rooms, looks like. Let's figure it out. Now toggle over to the other cam. Might have found our way in. Send the flathead over there, then toggle over to the second cam. Bingo, bingo. This is so... Flathead into the chair, B. Jack in. It's kind of minority reporty. Netrunner chair. Are you in the mainframe, son? Oh my god. Flathead stays, right? To keep an eye on the dweller, yeah. Punching into Kompeki's main net. You go ahead and log out. 
That's it. Así es como se hace. How are you feeling? Fine. A little dizzy, that's all. Bug, how you doing on time? You there, Bug? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. So, listen, ice is thicker than I thought. Piercing it'll take a couple hours. Couple hours? Can't do it any faster. Want my brain to burst into flames? Just sit down and enjoy your snazzy sweet. Thanks, I will. V, you take it easy, okay? Rest up a bit. Okay. I I will. I can actually sit down. Okay, well, I mean, I looked around already. Wanna look around outside a little bit? No, not really. This is pretty much it. Maybe we should read a book or something for the proper passage of time and all that. We have one perk point, one attribute point. Um, yeah, so the purpose of the flathead was to neutralize a netrunner, but then it had a thing on it, so if we didn't have that, could we not have done it then? Kinda wonder. What would be good now? I don't even know. Hacking seems to be a pretty good one. I like it. Mass vulnerability demon could be good for when we're fighting, which we are definitely gonna do later on. Max out. The Zables all cameras could be good. I got it already. So these ones, I need to like level it up more. The only one I can get here is this one. Oh, well, I don't hack that much right now, do I? Well, I can hack more. Yeah. And then... Maybe stealth for now? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's read one book. Oh, how, how's our um, inventory doing? I hope it's okay. Weight is okay. There was a new- wait, tarot? Oh my god, there's a new thing here, but I can't click on it. Kampeki Plaza. Delamain. Yes. What really happened in Arasaka Tower? If Militech was behind the assault on Arasaka Tower in 2023, and if there's actual evidence to support that, then why didn't Arasaka return the favor and nuke Militech? By now, there's no doubt the bomb was manufactured by Militech, but that doesn't mean they detonated it. I confess, I'm not a huge fan of the popular theory that Johnny Silverhand, the controversial rocker boy, was behind the whole thing. In fact, I'm not really a Silverhand fan, period. Silverhand was a poser and a blowhard, not someone who would actually follow through on his grandiose bluffs. Full disclosure, I just don't think Silverhand would have the balls to pull something off like that. Let's think this through. Who hates corporations the most? Nomads, obviously. Remember that mass market BD called Badlands Raid from the 20s about a band of nomads who attack a Militech convoy? Well, guess when it premiered? That's right, on the night of the attack. Coincidence? I think not. Yes, yes, there's a Silverhand cameo in there somewhere, but that's just a marketing ploy. A BD scrolled by a bunch of cactus huggers wouldn't sell for an any without a recognizable face. But I'm more intrigued by the main actress. How is it she didn't star in any other production despite Badlands Raids' huge sales? Where was she during the attack? Oh, there was an attack on the Arasaka Tower. Interesting. Johnny Silverhand again. Hmm, he's famous around here. Oh, wow. What do you think? Why'd he give it all up? Hmm? Who gave what up? Yori Nobu you know Arasaka. The good life, I mean. Old news, I know. Just got to thinking, so. It's like, think. You got everything, right? Eddie's education. Your pops can snap his fingers and turn half the fucking planet into a nuclear wasteland. But instead, you're like, nah, fuck it. And what do you go do? Start a fucking gang. <laughs> Steal dragons or some shit. You ghost from your fam, chip some real skin, and play gang leader for a few years. For what? Good thing we just read about that. Well, you're jealous because he has what you don't have, but he probably wants something that you have. Hello? Grass being greener on the other side and all that. I think I kind of prefer the first one, actually. 
Went down the same road, didn't you? Hooked up with the Valentinos, spewed some lead, then walked away. Hey, that ain't the same thing. Haywood's not some fucking palace in Japan. I didn't have no choices. And I paid a price for it too, remember? Three slugs to the chest. Feels like one's still in my left lung. Ooh. Don't be putting me on a level with that hijo de puta. <laughs> fucking tourist. Tourist or not, he just walked into the lobby. And we are back in biz. Penthouse security is neutralized. Perfecto. Let's start the show. It's gone too well so far. Hey, Bug. Where, uh... Were you on comms that whole time? Three and a half hours. Uh... About that stick up the ass. Mean the one up mine? <coughs> uh... Slip of the tongue, you know? I know. Now's your chance to make up to me. Don't talk shit about people when you know they're listening. Hey, I never looked around here. Mind if I have a very quick look? It's just the main lobby area. Not lobby, but... Hmm. Apartments floor, apparently this is. It looks a lot like my old workplace. Yeah, because it's owned by the same company. Uh, thank you. Bye. No ads, what a luxury. It just says apartments. Tavernier Suite. There's the awkward silence. You, uh, wanna hear a joke? Now? Seriously? Okay. So why'd the rocker boy's output kick him out of the apartment? Because he wasn't chipping in. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> huh. Not bad being heir to the Arasaka Empire. Sure is shit better than being a son of Raul Wells. Guys, focus. The safe. And make it quick. Why? What's the rush? Sig on your Nobu's gone dark. What is he, a fucking sorcerer? Some kind of dead zone's my guess. Have it back in a sec. And you do your damn job. We just read that. What happened in Narasaka? Wait, were there multiple? It just showed up twice. It's raining now. This is too easy. This is too easy. Hurry up, V. I feel like if we can steal his iPad or something, or even his gun right here, holy crap. Yes! Iconic weapon. And not just an iconic weapon right now, too, because I don't have a gun on me. This is the only gun I got. Iconic item along with a set of crafting specs. We can make it better. Looks like your Nobu left us a parting gift. Hey, much. But it'll have to do. Should I really turn that on? Bingo! Got something ejected. Come here, V. The relic, why all the fuss? So there was a lock on it, but I just activated it accidentally. <laughs> For years, experts in the field of cybernetics, neurology, and psychology. Oh, we read this one. This was the one back in our home. The relic, which is exactly what we're here to steal. So of course that's relevant. Hair wax, huh? No, I do feel like mm, maybe we can't turn on the lights, but we should be a little bit careful around here. Got no time for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But right now, check in your personal and make us rich. On it. Your turn, bug. Give me two. Oh my god. We got winged visitors. Bug. Uh, don't know who, but staff's a buzz. All 200 on their feet can't keep still. Can't say I like this. Well, they haven't noticed us yet. How much longer, T? Shit, you're a Nobu's penthouse bound. Fuck him! Open the safe! 
Almost got it. Done. Cream. Go, go. Let me look through this, huh? Relic intact? Bio shard integrity, 100%. Guessing that's a yes. Good. Let's go. I think we should. Fuck, too late. Your noble's about to walk in. Find cover. Where? Fat pillar, try that. You fucking kidding? No. Inside it now. Oh, I have to be in the pillar? Okay. Go, go. Thankfully, I just happen to be transparent. Which don't solve our problem, T. I fucking know our problem's still there. Let me think for a sec, okay? I thought I don't smash her. That guy has a name? Bodyguard. Wars. Night City Legend. Blink motherfucking one too. What's the play? We wait. Are they here yet? They approach from the landing pad. Fuck are they talking about? Bucko, we got incoming. Nuh uh. No fucking way. This isn't happening. What the frick? Oh! <gasps> Saburo Arasaka. The Emperor. Yet another ass licking legend. Shh. Now this could be soundproof. His son stole a relic from Arasaka. Close. Oh my Too god. Close. If he just sniffed us out. But he did it. No kayate. Unfucking believable. Saburo Arasaka. が気づかないとでも思ったのか。そもそも俺のことを気にしたことなんかないだろう。ん出る<笑> あんたは自分のことしか考えてない。そしてこの会社のことしか。いつかこのような日が来ることは分かっていた。貴様はついに超えてはならない一線を超えたのだ。He's quite natural. これまでお前の向こうには目をつぶってきた。だがそれもここまでだ。この裏切りだけは決して許せない。貴様の母親が生きていなくてよかった。息子の不甲斐ない姿を目の当たりにして心を痛めずに済んだのだからな。おし。おお。誰のことも許す必要はない。Oh my god!
He's my son, my ass. Oh no. What, what the hell do we do? Are we gonna get framed? guy knows. I mean, you can check already. He didn't have any... He didn't drink anything. He didn't eat anything. What the fuck just happened in there? Your Nobu just moved Saburo. What? His own fucking pops. Know what this means? Security's gonna swarm the place any second. Oh my god, we're so fucked. Bug? Need you to get us out of here now. Give me a sec. We don't have a sec. Fuck. The glass. The glass. We'll just fly out. Okay, got something. Window now. Yeah, like, actually, just fly out. Releasing the lock. Should see a ladder. Ladder. Oh fuck. Oh no 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 not now. I've been made. <laughs> Bug. No. Pinche <laughs> Dios Santo bendito. Just lost T! Fuck! Fucking major leagues! Happy now, Jackie! Oh, no, no, it's open, it's open. We can at least escape, okay? Let's get out of here and then we'll deal with T Bug. The ladder. The ladder. Jackie. Oh, God. <laughs> yep! That's fucking high! Remain calm, remain calm. That trauma? They're here for Saburo. They're a little late. We can't be seen, though. Just hope they didn't see us. Oh, oh no. 